It's been a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn in? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Not until you're back safe and sound. Well, if you're sure you're up for it, I've got a few loose ends to tie up out here. And I could use your help. You can count on it. And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you. For our breakfast. Merry Christmas, criminals. Welcome back to Batman Arkham Origins. So, this isn't quite the Riddler Roundup video. Um, there's still a few more things I need to do before I get to that. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to go around and pick up the... Uh, well, there's still one of these most wanted criminals locked, you'll notice. I want to finish uh, unlocking that one. And uh, I also want to go ahead and take care of the rest of the uh, Riddler informants. Dispatch, do you copy? Go ahead. Got a body down here. Mid-30s, no ID, no witnesses. Injuries are consistent with repeated blunt force trauma. Requesting a homicide team on site. Copy that. We'll send you our first available. And, of course, the game finally unlocks the rest of the case files after you finish the game. As you know, post-game content. So, this Riddler informant doesn't actually show up until after you finish the game. Technically, he doesn't show up until after the bridge is blown up, but effectively, it works out to the same thing. Don't hurt me like you did them other guys. I ain't like them. Tell me where you've hidden the information you've gathered for Enigma, and I'll think about it. Anything. Anything. Please. I have to wonder if the thugs Batman interrogates are ever worried about the strange glowing fists he has. So, anyway, uh, this video, I'm going to be picking up the rest of the Riddler informants. I'm going to be finishing up all of the uh, crime scene investigations. There's this one that we just opened up, and there is one more. And uh, I'm also going to be grabbing a couple of Riddler or Enigma data packs, and I will also be getting some of the Cyrus Pinkney. Uh, data diary pages. I won't be getting all of the diary pages, and in fact, those pages I'm going to uh, kind of put them all together in one video. You know, so things don't get too split up. Because so far we've only got one of them. So at the end of the next video, which is a regular roundup, you'll see all those diary pages put together for your listening pleasure. But yeah, this is sort of me setting the table for the uh, Riddler Roundup because doing all this stuff before really getting into it, well, eh, how, to, how to phrase it. It's one of those things where if you start out from the position of knowing exactly what you're doing, you don't have to spend any more time picking things up. You don't have to spend any more time uh, figuring out where things are. It makes it easier. At least from my perspective. Also, I'm pretty much going to be ignoring the rest of these crimes in progress because, well, we've unlocked every upgrade and I'm a jerk. And the cops can fend for themselves, I'm sure. Right inside here, there is a data pack. Uh, it's pretty easy to hack. But on the opposite wall, there's another one of the Cyrus Pinkney plaques. Now, I'm pretty sure those uh, these plaques, every single time you see a plaque, it's going to have the... Uh, the information inside it, or the data page, the diary page, there we go. But uh, something I have noticed, I haven't been able to individually confirm, um, I think those are only available on a new game. On uh, New Game Plus or I Am The Night mode, they may not actually appear inside those plaques. And, um, you know, I haven't been able to individually confirm that, but if that is true, it it wouldn't exactly surprise me. It takes me a short while to figure out what I'm doing here, but basically, you just have to hit one button, go in, and then throw a remote battering out to the other one, which will open up the side grate for you. It's pretty easy, but, you know, I, I wish they'd put more thought 
into Riddler puzzles like this instead of just ones that are, hey, hack the data pack. Um, or, yeah, hack the data pad. Some of these do require you to think a little bit about what you're doing. And, uh, it's nice. It's... It's wonderful. I wish they'd do all the data packs like that. But, it is what it is. They have no leads, but there has to be something here. What didn't they see? These bruising patterns are inconsistent with the police report of multiple strikes. The victim suffered one massive blow that shattered multiple bones. These spatter patterns confirm this man was killed by a single large object traveling at high velocity. Reconstructing the event should reveal the murder weapon. belong to Andrew Carter. He has a pretty lengthy record, but nothing that indicates this level of violence. Notes indicate he's been suffering paranoid delusions. Guess he finally lost control. Alfred, I need a last known location for a perp named Andrew Carter. According to the GCPD database, he was released from Blackgate just over a month ago. I'm sending you what I have. Oh, hold on. Mm. There's a notation here indicating he stopped attending court-mandated therapy sessions recently and is believed to be quite unstable. Do be careful. I always am. I kind of have to wonder where that air conditioner was thrown from in order to get that angle. But, I mean, maybe I'm overthinking it. I kind of have to sit here and think about some of these Cyrus Pinckney plaques. Um, I have no idea how normal people are supposed to see them. Because, uh, I don't catch it just now. I think I get distracted before I scan it, but there's one up here on the back of the church tower, and I... Hmm. I have no idea how you're supposed to be able to read that as a normal person. I really have to sit here and think that they, for some reason, this, uh, this most wanted case, or this crime scene, should have happened before we went to the bridge for Firefly, because, you know, they hear the guys saying, Bane will let us know when he needs us. Wouldn't that imply Bane's still, well, active? <coughs> still, something I will give it credit for is... The crime scene investigations have you deal with um, at least one of every type of enemy, except for the enforcers. Uh, we did deal with an armored thug that was uh, the police officer who uh, ran down his friend, or his, his co-worker, I should say. Um, we had the martial artist was the guy who escaped from the arson. There's another plaque here right next to the, uh, right next to the courthouse. And uh, this mo this crime scene case is going to have us dealing with a Venom user. I mean, it's nothing super, but it's still a nice touch, I think. Of course, the only problem with dealing with this kind of uh, this kind of thug as a special takedown sort of guy, somebody you have to interrogate, is the game usually goes out of its way to make special combo takedowns not apply to interrogation targets. I'm pretty sure that's a holdover from Arkham City, where if you took down the guy any time before the last guy, uh, you wouldn't be able to interrogate him. But the problem here is, well, Arkham Origins fix that more or less. No matter when you take the guy out, you'll still have the uh, opportunity to interrogate him. Luckily, it's something that's not going to come up too much. Dangerous. You will lose. I mean, 
Shadow from his dreams, the one who must be broken. I was told you might come. You killed a man tonight. Why? He saw he would speak. We could not allow it. What did he see? What's Bane planning? I will say no more. Then we're done talking. Alfred, let the GCPD know that Andrew Carter's been apprehended in connection with the amusement mile murder. They can pick him up at my location. Well done, sir. That's one less troublemaker for Gotham to worry about. One thing that is nice is pretty much as soon as you finish a uh, a crime scene after the end of the game, the next one will pop up almost immediately. Dispatch, this is Officer Franklin. Go ahead and let Homicide know that the Park Row crime scene has been secured. Oh, and tell him to bring a second meat wagon. We got two DBs down here. But yeah, like I was saying, I really feel like that entire crime scene dealing with the Venom user was supposed to happen, well, before you fight Bane and Blackgate. You know, I mean, they, they give you all this stuff about the shadow in his dreams. It's, it's a lot of different things that, you know, aren't really referred to in the game. And you aren't really given any clues to consider them, aside from saying, oh, well, yeah, I know Bane's been having nightmares about Batman when he was growing up in Santa Prisca, blah, blah, blah. It... It's kind of like the, uh... It's kind of like the long Halloween subplot that got cut off. There's just a lot of stuff here that didn't make it past the cutting room floor. Two victims. Both shot dead. I know them. This is Horace Riley, heir to the Riley Mining Empire. Odd. He still has his wallet and watch. Clarissa Rodriguez. Riley proposed to her just weeks ago. Socialite and activist. Even though it's worth a fortune, her necklace wasn't taken. This wasn't a robbery. The reconstruction indicates Horace's lung was punctured. He drowned in his own blood. Clarissa took a single shot to the heart. Death was instantaneous. Both shots were from an automatic. Finding the casings will let me identify the killer. Looks like he tried to clean up after himself, but one of the casings fell through this grate. I can check it for prints. I need a location on Ian Chase. Isn't that the fellow from your Halloween party? As I recall, you had to throw him out. Is he troubling Miss Rodriguez again? She's dead. Horace, too. Oh, dear. Well, I suppose we should have seen this coming. The location, Alfred. Sent, sir. And my condolences as well. Sounds like, uh, well, Bruce Wayne may have been, uh, friends with Mr. Riley and Miss Rodriguez, which makes this a uh, mm, little bit more personal for him, I suppose. Not to mention they were killed in Crime Alley. Ooh, because we need to use that set piece again. Again. Well, I 
Guess we found our guy. Exactly who you are. You didn't do it for money. You didn't even do it for love. You're choking me. I can't breathe. Not out of jealousy. Not out of anger. You did it because you're a small, selfish, malicious. Sir, is everything all right? Your vital signs are rather erratic. <sighs> what, what the hell's wrong with you? <sighs> Alfred. Let the GCPD know that Ian Chase has been apprehended. I'm also sending you the evidence I collected. Certainly, sir. And might I recommend you be on your way? No need to spend any more time there, hmm? Hello? Batman? Do you copy? Gordon. I'm sorry to, uh, interrupt. Barbara gave me this frequency. I, uh, well... I thought you might be able to help me with something. Is there a problem? That depends. If we can contain this in time, it should be okay. Contain what? We've got some Black Gate escapees stirring up trouble in the city. And after tonight's events, I'm a little short-staffed at the moment. So you want me to bring them in? Well, that's what you do, right? I'll see what I can do. And this is the last Most Wanted for the game. There are 20 black, black Gate escapees scattered around Gotham City, and uh, we have to go round them up. There's also supposed to be a Riddler informant uh, right in this underpass here, but because the crime scene takedown spawned, uh, they're not here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to a different spot while I'm trying to get them to respawn. Though... I do have to kind of wonder how these guys were able to escape from Blackgate, considering it's a, uh, well, it's an island prison. I mean, eh, I probably shouldn't think too hard about it. They, they probably got a boat out or something. That seems like the kind of thing Blackgate would just leave lying around. Still, it's worth considering. I mean, 20 guys. Yeah, but I ain't too worried. Oh, why's that? Because the boss said not to be. He's got a plan. He's always got a plan. All right, I guess. But what are we supposed to do in the meantime? Steal crap, burn stuff, whatever. As long as we're making trouble, he'll be happy. Rush him! This crap's about to get in. So, unfortunately, there's nothing particularly interesting about the Blackgate Most Wanted criminals. They're just a standard, hey, take out all these guys, and then do a interrogation on them. Woo! Same thing you've seen a bunch by now. Please! Don't hurt me! Back off! You can't arrest me! You're right, but I can make sure you're still here when the GCPD does. Gordon, send your closest unit to my location. Probably the most significant thing I can think of about these Blackgate Most Wanted is that their voice actors don't match up. 
The best example I can think of is at the start of the next video. There is a Bane thug who, you know, he talks with the South American accent for, uh, you know, for the start of the fight. And then when you're doing the interrogation on him, his accent completely switches to something else. Do you know what you'll do to me back at Blackgate? The guards are worse than the prisoners. That's all going to change now. Gordon, send someone you trust to my location for a Blackgate prisoner pickup. I don't know. One of the ways they could maybe have improved this is if they had... Uh, let's say they had Gordon have these little asides in between every criminal you picked up. You know, something about having his relationship with Batman changed. Kind of like Barbara Gordon had whenever we blew up one of those... Uh, whenever we blew up one of the... Uh, Penguin's weapon caches. But, it's just another missed opportunity. And it's post-game content, which is... Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't like it as post-game content. Still, after uh, taking a quick trip on the uh, Batwing and coming back, the informant has spawned. So we'll just head down here and take care of him real quick. What the hell was that? You... you wasn't supposed to be real! Uh, not real! You have information you've collected for Enigma. Where is it? It's... it's close. I'll show you. So, that is going to be it, as far as saying the table goes. Uh, please join me next time when I will have a special guest and uh, we will commence the Riddler Roundup. In the meantime, uh, please stay tuned for some of Alfred's signature snark. I've seen a rather large bat in the cave, sir. Do take care not to anger it. I wasn't planning to. Good. With everything occurring tonight, the last thing we need is a pest problem. I'm sure it's harmless, Alfred. You haven't seen the creature. 